Drum roll, please. Two identical rings right there. I'm gonna do a close up as always. Can you tell which one is lab grown and which one is natural? I bet you can't. It's Margarita Skypen, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about lab grown diamonds. Guys, there's so many videos, they're so complicated and long. In this video, we're gonna go quick through pros and cons to owning a lab grown diamond. Let's go really quickly, go through them, shall we? And we'll start with the pros. The pros to owning a lab grown diamond. Number one, they are cheaper than natural diamonds. For example, a two carat diamond with the Clarity VVS one and the color H will cost you mm, somewhere in the $30,000 mark. A lab grown diamond of exactly the same parameters will cost you around $10,000. That's a big win-win if you're shopping for a diamond and you want a large one, but you don't want to spend $30,000. Lab-grown diamonds are ethical, and that's number two. They are man-made stones, and so no involvement to block diamonds whatsoever. One of the biggest pros for owning a lab-grown diamond is that they are just like a natural diamond. The properties are at 100%, you guys. So even me, as a gemologist, I have to look under a microscope for a long time to find the difference. That just has to tell you that even most of the gemologists on the market can't tell the difference between a lab grown diamond and natural diamond. Let's start with the cons. Well, one of the biggest cons to owning a lab grown diamond is that it is not natural. And unlike real diamonds that will always go up in price or you have a value or a commodity, this is not your case. You are buying something that was made that has no commodity factor, no growing value, nothing. Number two, they are quite expensive for a man-made material. And the reason I'm saying this is because there are plenty of other man-made stones on the market that are a lot cheaper, right? $10,000 for a two character is still quite a lot of money, even if it is a lab-grown diamond. Lab-grown diamonds won't go up in price. They won't because they have no value, and that's a pretty big con for a lot of people. You can't trade a lab-grown diamond, and that's one of the biggest cons for a lot of people because a lot of my customers, as I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, come back to me throughout the years, and if they bought a half a character, they can always come back and say, I am ready to buy that one character. Can we trade in the half a character and get some kind of credit for it? And the answer is, yes, you can when it comes to natural diamond, and no, you can't when it comes to lab-grown. Lab-grown diamond does not have a trade-in value of any sort. You could try the Facebook marketplace, I suppose. Drum roll, please. Two identical rings right there. I'm gonna do a close up as always. Can you tell which one is lab grown and which one is natural? I bet you can't. You can't because they are identical. <laughs> One is just natural and one is man-made, but made with exact same properties. And so it's imperative for you to understand that yes, man-made diamonds are exactly like real diamonds in their properties, in the color and clarity. You know, even under microscope, the inclusions are so well made that it's just mind boggling like, how have the industries been able to get this far? But that's one of the reasons man-made diamonds have gone up in price quite some dollars in the last few years, quite some dollars. Few years ago, you could still buy a lab-grown diamond for about maybe one carat or at a thousand to three thousand dollars. Right now, a good carat is gonna cost you a lot of money. Some are four, some are five, of course, depending on clarity and color, but they are a lot more pricier these days. But one of the reasons they're pricier is because the company's got so good. They've gotten so good at completely copying the natural diamond that sometimes it's just mind boggling, especially to us as gemologists, because we are just shocked under microscope to find inclusions that look exactly like natural, understanding that they're not. So it is amazing how the industry has evolved. 
I wanted to tell you one thing. If you are looking for an ethical diamond and the reason you're going for a lab grown diamond is because you want to be ethical, there are many other stones to go ethical with. You could go with sapphires, morganite, tanzanite, ruby, emerald. We've seen it all and we make them all. So consider other stones because they are just as pretty. If you are going for a lab grown diamond because you want a diamond but you don't want to spend the big bucks for the actual diamond, the natural one, then all you have to do is know these things. Number one, buy something that you really love. And the reason I'm saying this is because unlike natural diamonds where you can trade in with time, you can't trade in the lab growing. So if you're the type of person that thinks you have be enjoying a wine character, buy the one character now. Don't buy a half a character thinking yeah, I'll buy one character down the road if I wanted to. Buy something that will be there for years for you because you would probably have to keep the stone. Some of our clients have bought one characters and they wanted two, three characters. So what we ended up doing is just jewelry for them with that one character, a pendant or earrings or anything else. And they had to buy another one because like I said, there's no trade in value. So that stone is with you for years. Okay. And the biggest thing I wanted to say that if you are going for lab grown diamond, please guys, please, it's super, super, super imperative. I don't care who you buy it from. If you are looking for for someone to buy it from, you can always reach out to me and I'll give you a quote and all that wonderful stuff. You know, I always answer my emails and texts and everything, so that's given. But if you are buying it somewhere else, a store or a dealer or an online place, make sure it comes with a certificate. Guys, we are in this era with so many saturated stones on the market. You want to have a certificate for your stone. Make sure it has a certificate, uh, a gemologist who certified that certificate or a certificate of authenticity or a gemological report. There's so many names for it, but make sure you have some kind of document saying that it is a lab grown diamond, the properties it has, the cut, the clarity and the color. It's Margaret Skypen and I'll see you shortly. subscribe to my channel if you haven't it's right here click that button because you know I do cool videos cool short fun videos interactive jewelry lessons interactive jewelry basics for you to be more knowledgeable